Today, U.S. Catholic bishops overwhelmingly voted in favor of advancing a push to deny him his communion over his support of abortion. Let's get right to senior Washington correspondent Tara Merchner, who's here with more on that decision just announced. Tara? Well, Jenna, despite a warning from the Vatican, 73% of the bishops approved that measure to push a document that could deny Holy Communion to Biden and other pro-choice politicians. Outcry over Biden's position again revealing a deep division within the church. Here is what he said when a reporter asked for his reaction this afternoon. Are you concerned about the rift in the Catholic Church, and how do you feel personally about that? That's a private matter, and I don't think that's going to happen. Catholic Church policy says that any parishioner in good standing can receive communion at Mass. If you receive the Eucharist in a state of grave sin, you're doing yourself very grave spiritual harm. But the debate over whether a vocal political supporter of abortion rights qualifies is growing. The Church belongs to Jesus. That's why I implore the President, please, repent turn away from this error, and you know it's an error, and be faithful to what the church teaches. This week playing out at the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops. Attending Mass each Sunday, rosary in hand, President Joe Biden has long put his faith front and center. Faith is what has gotten me through difficult times in my life. While Biden's faith is celebrated by his new D.C. church, Pope Francis, and many news outlets. I support a woman's right to choose. His position on abortion creating an increasing divide among Catholics. During a press briefing on Capitol Hill Thursday, Democratic House Speaker Nancy Pelosi dodged a reporter's question about whether a 15-week unborn baby constitutes a human being. Is an unborn baby at 15 weeks a human being? Let me just say that I am a big supporter of Roe v. Wade. Uh, I am a mother of five children in six years. I think I have some standing on this issue as to respecting a woman's right to choose. Since taking office, Biden has been targeting rules that protect the unborn. If I believe health care is a right as I do, I can no longer support an amendment that makes that right dependent on someone's zip code. In the 80s, Biden voted in favor of a constitutional amendment to allow states to overturn Roe v. Wade. And in the 90s, voted against federal funds for abortion at least 50 times. Archbishop Joseph Nauman, chairman of the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops, is among those who fears Biden is deliberately trying to confuse the faithful. So the American people have given him a lot of authority and power but one power he doesn't have is to define what it means to be Catholic. Now, the text of the bishop's proposal itself has not been written and would ultimately require approval by a two-thirds majority 